Thank you, Kylie. The Downtown Boxing Gym is an after-school program on Detroit's east side, providing students an opportunity for academic support and mentorship. And now there's a brand new culinary arts program for students teaching them how to cook and also providing more than a thousand meals for them each week. So to tell us all about the program, we're joined by Shaquana Suggs and Molly Mitchell from the Detroit Boxing Gym. We're so glad to have you here uh, with us today. Give us an overview of DBG. Um, well, DBG is an out-of-school program. We offer a wraparound service for students ages 8 to 18, um, up until 25 uh, for our alumni. Um, we also offer mentorship, tutoring, anything from tutoring to um, electives like steam lab, nutrition classes, cooking classes and all. Yeah, cooking classes are what we want to talk about today. So you have the cooking classes now and why is that something you wanted to develop at the boxing gym? Um, because cooking for one is a, definitely a skill that's needed. Um, and it also, food brings people together. It brings happiness, it brings joy. It, um, there's critical skills that you need to, uh, when you're cooking, for example, um, being conscious of what you consume and what you put mm -hmm. in your body. Yeah, definitely. And, and speaking of cooking, you have a brand new kitchen, right? So but, what, what a great way to test this out. Yeah. Tell us, how did that all come about? Well, the kids really have a, a strong voice at DBG, and so they are so into the culinary arts that they ended up like building a whole kitchen just to serve the kids. Um, and so I was lucky enough to join Shaquana, and um, we're doing like a culinary arts program, and then we're also producing hand handmade meals for them every day for up to 100 kids a day. Yeah, that's an so, amazing number. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of people. <laughs> All right, so tell us about what we have in front of us. I know the uh, raw fruits and vegetables there, but tell us about the dishes you've created and want to show off here today. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we've been doing salads every day for the kids, so I just wanted to bring something that just to showcase, like we're, you know, using all kinds of fresh vegetables and like really emphasizing like color in the vegetables to get maximum nutrition. And then um, we also have a frittata. All the kids are really into breakfast for dinner. So yeah. um, nice. frittata, yeah. pancakes, that kind of thing. <laughs> and then Shaquana's actually spearheading a juicing program. So that's why we have the, the fruits and vegetables. So they're getting fresh juice every day as well. A lot of fresh. Fantastic. Yeah. And so how are you, t tell us a little bit about the fresh juicing program. Like how do that come about and and what kinds of things are they making well I always felt like juicing is a great way to introduce kids to different fruits and vegetables and it's also an easy way to get them to consume those fruits and vegetables so also we're working on a DBG punch so the kids have actually worked on their own logos their oh. own ideas and right now we're working on recipes to, um, a little double kind entendre, of, yeah. like yeah. 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 So, Molly, why is it so important for the kids to learn how to prepare and eat healthy? Well, I mean, it's a life skill. So, you know, like we're training kids. So, if they did have an interest in actually like being a chef or doing something in the culinary arts, they could. But it's really just something that like everybody should know about, and it's it's great to start early because the kids are curious and they're open. Yeah. And so, like, you know, it's just like a really. Um, great accent to the program that they have there with the arts and athletics and uh, academics and stuff. Yeah, so. if you can ingrain it early, it sticks with you yeah, for a while. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's not yeah. always easy to kind of come up with recipes and ideas that are healthy and that kids are going to actually enjoy mm -hmm. making and eating in right. this case. So what have been, obviously breakfast for dinner, but mm -hmm. what have been some other <laughs> big hits? Well, Stir fries, yes, pasta yep. dishes, mm -hmm. desserts. Oh, desserts, of course. Of course. Right. Yeah. 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 Just got to make them healthy, right? <laughs> yes. yeah. And hey. one of my big, biggest surprises coming to the gym is how open the kids are to try stuff. Because I was worried. I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, this is a peanut butter and jelly crowd, you know, and you're dealing with little kids. <laughs> and they, they will try, like, whatever we put out for them. So even if it's not, like, their favorite, they're open to at least trying. They'll still give it a shot. Cool. Look yeah. at that, from PB&J to frittatas. Who there we go. Yeah. 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 Okay, so if somebody wants to participate, participate in the boxing gym, how do they go about doing it? Um, they can log on to dbgdetroit.org. We have a waiting list though, oh. but they wow. can apply and they go by um, availability based on elementary, middle school and high school. So. All right, well okay. get on board if you want. You got to get on that waiting Fantastic. list because it's that popular. Thanks all for coming in it this morning. Appreciate it. Shaquana from the Downtown Boxing Gym and Molly, thank you so much.